Hi, Gillian. Look at you with your fancy hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I know, right? We're we're all at home, working from home, or I know. Oh, who cares about, who about cares? like like looking perfect? <sighs> ah, yeah, you look good. Don't you? look at you. <laughs> it like war it's warm there, huh? Yeah. I good. went for a walk this morning, and I was like, "Oh, it's nice out, but keep your distance." <laughs> that's right. That's right. You went on the beach. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Very yeah. healing. Yeah, great. We need that now. Yes, and you know what we need? Um, what we what you talked about in February, right? Yeah, February. Because what did we cover last month in March? Ah, love um, and relations. So, so health now is more important than ever. Yeah, when um, we had your mastermind. Yes. Hi, Kim. Welcome. It hadn't really broken out as much, and uh, it definitely wasn't on the forefront. But look at us here now, like a month and a half later. It's already, it's already a lot can happen in a month. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Anyway. Um, yeah. So you are keeping a bit high, Kim. I unmuted you. Let me unmute. You're keeping a bit in New York, right? Oh, yeah. Kim, unmute yourself so we can test your mic. There you are. Hi. Yeah. There Hi you there. are. You sound loud and clear. Great. I'm at the beach, too. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> good, good. So, <laughs> it's amazing what we cre can create in our mind nowadays. Oh, what did I do to you? <laughs> we can create a whole virtual reality so we can create a healthy world uh, with vaccines and the right vaccines and uh, the right cures and uh, totally healthy COVID-19 free. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's imagine it. Let's imagine it. So, um, yeah, let's give a moment to... Some people you email me, they're dealing with uh, some last minute, um, last minute um, um, emergencies, but hopefully nothing to worry about. So, but here we are. Let me put a moment of music, of music, and then, um, and then we'll do an introduction. So, let me... Um, How's the music? Good. Mastermind. There you go. Okay, so ladies, um, why don't you introduce yourself in terms of um, who you are, where you're connecting from, and uh, it's a new quarter, happy April 1st, yes. and new month, and uh, like one wish that you have for this month and quarter. And maybe I'll start. My name is uh, Dr. Elena Pizzini. I'm uh, hosting this Global Mastermind for my beloved members and in my circle of influence, and um, I'm Italian-American. And my wish, my wish uh, for this month and quarter is for um, everybody to um, really come together, put their resources together to, um, to literally, literally make it a better world. That's my wish. And hence uh, the mastermind. So thank you for coming. Uh, ladies, you go for it. Oh, well, hi, I'm Jillian from New York City. Hi, uh, Jillian. Hi, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, well, my wish is for this, this dergon quarantine to end. <laughs> I, I can't take it. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
But other than that, yeah, everybody just stay strong, stay positive. You know, we'll get through this, you know. Hopefully we were doing all the right things during the year because this year was coming in strong so that we're not suffering too much now. I, I'm okay. And um, I'm pleased with that. So, yeah, but right now health is everything. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is everything. yeah. And you both are very healthy. So you're definitely a good inspiration for the outer world and they need inspiration. Also, you both have partners and at least you have you have them by your side living with you which is nice because yeah in italy for instance if you if you don't live with your significant other <laughs> that's it it's like it's such a strict lockdown nobody can go from one town to the other so for no reasons so for as long as they have the lockdown they cannot see significant others friends family relatives wow. none of it yeah wow so they're like stuck so there you go. I have my tiger. That's my consolation prize. <laughs> I have my plants. <laughs> yeah. They don't argue back. <laughs> oh. And Kim, go for it, darling. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kim. Um, and yeah, like Elena said, um, I, I do have my partner with me and we're having a pretty good time but my wish is that everyone heals from this as quickly as possible i i really look forward to some perhaps some some transitions for the better coming out of this um that our earth is healthier as a result of burning fewer fossil fuels at the moment and that people can really join together and, and help each other and, and make this a better world as a result. That's my wish. Oh, beautiful, fantastic. Thank you, Kim. So be it, from your mouth to the universe's ears. And we have a gentleman, yay! <laughs> it's a uh, morning down under. Hope you have your coffee, Michael. And, uh, and so, Michael, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, uh, where you're from, and one wish for this month and quarter. <laughs> Well, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Michael Lloyd. I run a gardening business in Melbourne, Australia. And um, this quarter, I'm, my biggest wish is to stay positive and just be ready for the next quarter <laughs> and stay well. Um, I've got plenty of overdue things on the administration side of my world. It's been an ongoing problem for about two years since I moved house and the office is a mess and the business is not being driven enough from the computer. So I'm um, looking forward to time at home to get really organized and build new connections online. Beautiful, fantastic, great. Thank you, Michael from Down Under. And we got um, two more ladies. You're blessed among the ladies. I hope you're happy, Michael, today. Of course. <laughs> You got to stick it up for the brothers. You're representing the brothers so far. And, yeah. um, Okay, welcome uh, Kamala, Katrina and Mary. So we would like, we're um, introducing ourselves and then we'll go into the mastermind. We wanna know who you are, where you're from and one wish that you have for this month or quarter and happy new month and quarter, happy uh, April 1st. So we got, we got one, okay, you got a brother, Michael, you're not alone. So uh, Kamala, good to, good to see you. Let's hear from you. Kamala, is your mic working? We're hearing some sounds. Okay, well, maybe plug it up, unplug it and plug it back in. So far, we're hearing some sounds, but no voice. I'll leave you unmuted. In the meantime, we go to Dr. Burroughs. Hello, here, I'm gonna put my video on, although I'm just out of sport. <laughs> there you are. My name is Katrina, like the hurricane. I should have had a hurricane in the background. And uh, I live in Las Vegas, quite near Elena. Uh, so, in the, and I, my, my wish for this month is that I start my new book. So be book. it, very Nine good. 
managing brilliant jerk and now it's going to be uh the title will be when failure is not an option oh that's a great title i like it so be it so be it and you'll get it done i know i know dr boris is very motivated we are virtual accountability bodies normally in person but right now virtual <laughs> even if we're neighbors and we'll make it happen so be it thank you so much and welcome yeah. And let's see, I, um, and Mary, I see you're connecting twice. So let me unmute you on one end. Maybe actually. There you are. Yes, we oh, hear you. Can, I had initially connected via my PC, but I didn't have a headset. So I have connected via my phone and maybe I'll I'll disconnect via my computer. Yes, sounds good. Very good. You're working from home, Mary, today? Here, let me unmute you here. Are you working from home, Mary, today? Uh, no, I just got home from work. Ah, that's right, right on time, 3 p.m. Central. So be it, right. we're so happy. So um, <laughs> tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Mary Sell. I live in Wichita, Kansas. I uh, currently work at a home improvement store and we are still currently open despite what's going on in the world. Uh, we do have a grocery department in our store, so uh, we were uh, required, I guess, to remain open and it's been been an interesting process. Every, every day seems to, uh, we seem to incorporate a new safety Feature, so to try to keep everyone safe. So it's been been very interesting. Very good. And your wish for the month and the quarter? Um, the wish for the, the initial wish is that we all make it through this uh, healthy and learn a lot from it, learn about ourselves and uh, ultimately become a better person because of it. And um, as far as goals and things, I'm currently working on creating an internet marketing business and I want to uh, devote more time to that so that I can um, have more sales. I've had a few so far and that's been exciting and just want to continue with that and continue to learn and grow. So be it. And uh, Mary such is such the life learner and student for life just like all of us that believe in continuous, in continuously growing, expanding, and improving, not just for ourselves, but loved ones and humanities. And yes, this is the right time for online businesses. So we support you fully, Mary, go for it. Thank you. To more sales with my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Juan from Miami. Hi everyone, how are you? I'm sorry that I was a few minutes late. All good. good to see all of you. And you. So um, tell, us, um, tell us what you do and your wish for um, this month and quarter. So I'm a real estate broker in Miami, Florida. Um, so if you happen to know of anyone that's looking to buy or sell or rent or anything in Miami, I'm happy to help you. And if you happen to have any questions about handling uh, real estate issues anywhere in the country, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to, um, to give you some advice. Well, uh, you have international have... experience too, right? With real estate. I do. I do. A lot of my clients are international. Yes. Uh, today, ironically, you know, April 1st is the first of the month. Um, you know, I had a lot of, uh, of, of, uh, of conversations with landlords and tenants, investors, because of course, on the one hand, tenants are saying, you know, are thinking some, not every single one of them, but some are thinking, you know, well, I, I can't pay rent or I don't want to pay rent. You know, how much can I get away with? And the other, on the other hand, landlords are thinking to themselves, okay, how can I make sure the tenant pays rent and what happens if they don't pay me? So, you know, I've been handling that, a lot of those conversations today. Okay, very good. I'm sure you'll find the right solutions. You're quite the masterminder and the problem solver one. <laughs> you can Thank do you. it. And so your wish is to... Um, to just keep uh, investors, landladies, landlords, and tenants happy? Anything else? Uh, 
Yes, no, I mean, just my wish for, for April and I think for the, se the whole second quarter is to um, just get through this. I think, I think we'll get, you know, it, it, I don't think it's, it's going to go past this, the whole second quarter, the next 30, 60, 90 days. So um, it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting time. Yes, and I remember having this conversation in, um, in September last year. You, you were going through a hurricane and you made it through. You made it through, right? And so we'll make it through again. Anything, yes. anything that's, uh, that comes our way, we can do it. We've gone through worse. So, yes. so be it. And I love this uh, positivity from everybody and energy. And I know all together will um, make miracles happen. Uh, Kamala, are you ready to introduce yourself? You are unmuted. If not, please use the chat. Okay, until you get your mic to work. All right, I'll leave you unmuted for a moment. So we still cannot hear you. So welcome to our monthly global mastermind. Uh, I think uh, most of you are familiar with the, what that is. And this is a global mastermind, international. There are people from all over. And uh, we like that. The more minds, the more hearts, the more energy, the better. Because, because uh, Napoleon Hill was one of the first to teach us the importance of keeping masterminds recurring in our lives, in our career and businesses to see, to see more perspectives. Because just like in coaching, you know, unless you have a mirror or a sounding board, it's hard to see your ears, right? And it's hard to, um, to see other points of view. That's why we strongly believe in all these tools to, uh, to do better and better. And absolutely right now, it's a time to do better and better, not just for ourselves personally, but also for, for, for everybody, because because we're all impacting one another with anything we do, with a smile, with one thing we say or don't say. And um, it's, a, it's a fine line, but um, I, do know, I do know all of you and I know your heart is on the right place. You, you're all, you all have amazing expertise and this is the time to share more, share more of what you have to, um, to really help yourself and help the world. So, the way the mastermind works is today we're leaving an open topic. So, <clears throat> so um, there's, there is one hot person in the hot seat, quote unquote, in the middle of the circle, <laughs> virtual circle at a time. That person will have about five minutes because I know some of you, some of you need to work on their concisiveness and, um, and, um, and speaking. And myself included. Let me uh, unmute, unmute you, uh, Kamala. Okay, there you go. Um, until you're ready to <clears throat> share later. So one person in the hot seat at, at once concisely will, will, um, will formulate a, an issue, a problem, a question, a dynamic that um, wants feedback on from all like-minded entrepreneurs and business owners like all of us and uh, so it can be on any topic i know it can also be covid 19 related uh, and um etc because um let's face it, it 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 is an issue we're all solving every day so whatever it's on your mind and truly you need support and help with do express it concisely, we'll take turns. I think we have uh, enough time for everybody to be in the hot seat, okay? And then whomever wants to give feedback, uh, don't hold back, don't censor, don't filter, be open because you're among trusted, trusted colleagues and entrepreneurs. So uh, give feedback and of course, unmute yourself, okay? You can also use the chat box. And um, <clears throat> let's see, the person in the hot seat, please keep it to two, two answers. Other, so we stay, we stay organized and orderly. And the two answers, I think you all know which ones they are. Let me see, let me see it in the chat box. What are the two answers the hot seater will give 
to, to um, the group participants. What are they? Number one is, you remember? <laughs> okay, Michael, Michael got it. One is thank you means uh, you, you've, you've heard enough, okay, you're complete, or two, tell me more. So everybody, please put it in the chat box. One, thank you, two, tell me more. Because once we are in the heat of it, we forget and we ramble and then we, um, uh, we don't keep it orderly and I want everybody to get a chance to go, okay? So there you go. Thank you, tell me more. Okay, so um, is everybody clear on the, on the simple instructions for making a really helpful, productive mastermind? Yeah? Okay, good. So, um, <clears throat> so questions, I've given you examples of what they could be. Welcome, Francine. And uh, so it could be anything yesterday. Um, it could be anything. Maybe you already have something in mind. So is there a person who would like to start with a question and be and be on the hot seat. Let me see it in the chat box or unmute yourself. Okay, very good. One, go for it. Hi guys. So, uh, so as you know, I'm a I'm a real estate broker, and I was thinking of sending out to my clients, which this may be uh, useful for for everyone. But I was thinking of sending out to my clients, um, uh, like putting together some virtual events, like on Zoom, and maybe um, bringing in like. A magician or a salsa instructor or something like that uh, and and kind of hosting sponsoring a like a like a weekly salsa uh, you know zoom instruction for everyone that's at home right uh, or maybe like a magician to do you know 30 minutes of magic for the kids on Tuesdays at 11 in the morning or something like that for the next 30 60 90 days um, I was I was thinking of maybe somebody who was like a tango instructor Friday nights at 7 p.m. or 9 p.m. for like couples. So I was just thinking if you know if you guys have any other ideas, maybe a, like a yoga instructor every you know every day or you know Tuesdays and Thursdays at six in the morning. And so I'm curious to know if you guys have any other good ideas that you think might be useful and helpful. This is for um, for your tenants and and investors. Everybody. Just in your for yeah, just so for, for all my contacts, right? Because I think everyone is, is trying to do the best they can to entertain themselves at home. But if we could, I mean, again, I'm just brainstorming. If I, 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 don't, I haven't tried it, but I'm, I was, I'm curious to know what the response might be if I sent it out to all my 500 contacts and said, hey, if anybody is interested and you have kids at home, from now on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 in the morning, you know, we're going to have, you know, uh, a magician come in. If you're interested, you know, reply or, or log into the Zoom, right, uh, meeting and bring in your kids and we'll go live at that time. Or and maybe Saturday nights at, again, because everyone's at home, maybe, you know, this Saturday night from nine to 10, we're going to have a salsa one-on-one, -on -one, you know, one-on-one -on -one basics, uh, something, you know, and so, you know, bring your wine and we'll have, our, our salsa instructor going over some steps. Perfect. I know Katrina is the artist uh, among many other talents. So has some feedback for you. You always have something wonderful to say about everybody. Look, um, I just wondered, uh, salsa, what's, what's the link towards uh, your work? Uh, could you entertain people in a way that has a relation to the house or to what you do. For example, um, a craft you can do at home to improve the bathroom or a, a something, a tool or something in the kitchen that would make it better. So that uh, something to renovate a house through crafts, for example, or something that's a link. That's what I, my question to you. What, uh, and the, that's an answer, but the question would be, why salsa? What's, what's the link to your business? So you're right. So, I mean, as you can see, like I, 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 I'm not really thinking of anything that is necessarily real estate related. 
right? So like a magician is not real estate related, right? A tango dancer is not a real estate. It's not, it, so it's more about just providing some type of random entertainment for my contacts, right? My, the, like my tribe, just my, right? If all of you guys are, you know, all of us live somewhere, so we all have real estate needs, but right now everyone's staying put. No one's going anywhere. Right. So I, again, I'm just brainstorming. So I was curious, you know, so I was thinking maybe have, you know, hosting or sponsoring a salsa day, um, you know, one day a week, it doesn't have to be salsa. It could be anything. Um, or even, um, have you guys, you know, done the, like those paint, those wine and painting classes? Yes. Right. So something like that, obviously not real estate related at all, but it's just an excuse for people to come together and eventually, you know, two, three, eight months from now, if they have a real estate need, then they may think of me. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that, do you think that's even, I mean, do you think that's. Well, you, wealthy people think both. You can do both. You can do something completely entertainment related for fun. And that includes kids because kids are at home. And this is a problem I'm hearing from parents. They don't know. There are out of options on how to entertain these kids. So maybe some simple dance moves. Salsa is a bit complicated that, that kids can follow. Right. And uh, with the broom or with their stuffed animal, whatever. And, and two, just like Michael was saying, you know, this is a chance to get organized because it's living at home all the time, not going out. It can get messy and dusty and, you know, I mean, I'm looking at my home. So, so maybe like Katrina says, people and Michael said, are also offering some tools um, for, um, do it on your own at home, yeah. Because they may be afraid to call, to call like a handyman or a handy woman to get help, you know, right now that we're staying isolated. So Katrina, I saw you, uh, your message. How are you going to promote your brand while you offer entertainment? Uh, again, this is just an idea right now. That's why I'm kind of putting it out there for everyone. But I figure that, you know, once I have people's contact information, then I can always just follow up with them later. Right. Hey, Katrina, if I, you know, good seeing you the other day, if I can help you in, any, in anything, you know, keep me in mind, we're happy to help you. By the way, do you own or rent? If, and then whether you own or rent, then I, I can stay in touch with you in a relevant way that way. But, uh, but yes, that's just an idea. Very good. Does anybody have anything else to offer? And then we got three newcomers that were late and let them introduce themselves. I think Michael had an, a, an idea. Unmute yourself, you guys. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, it's very much where Katrina was going with it. Um, I, I went through the issues that I got in response to the idea. And I think that it's sort of, it's sensitive and cultural what you put on. And it's going to be hard to get the right thing to, to just put it on for everybody. But I really love the idea that you're thinking about a thing that is not real estate related because it's, um, it is like just a, it's like tickets to the football. It's like just a bonus from you guys. That's not a sway in any direction other than the fact that you guys feel like, um, maintaining a social presence with a, a little bit of positive, um, give back, uh, amidst all your recent successes and expanding operations and all that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, I did also think that salsa might not reach, a lot of people, despite the fact that it'd be awesome if it did, you'd really lift everyone up and they'd be dancing and it'd be great. But I think if someone, if my real estate agent offered me a salsa class, to be honest, I don't think I'd take it on. Um, but, and I was thinking about what's related and I came across this idea that even though it's a million, everyone's into it, there's so much on the web, you could really have a ball doing something with cooking. And you could literally spin that culture wheel through this culture, that culture, this culture, and you, can, and you don't have to have the same person booked for your 20 weeks or whatever. You could get a different person every time. You could work out some deal individually with all of them. Some people might do it for nothing. Other people might, you might get someone that you have to pay a lot of money to, you know, like, you know, your Jamie Oliver type category you might appeal to a celebrity chef and say, can you do one of these sessions for us to lift the profile and really draw people in? And they might cut a deal with you uh, in, the, in the situations we're in. So I think I came around to cooking. So obviously I thought about the garden 
which is something you could, you know, both help people out and protect your premises and do what you have to do for the owners anyway by encouraging gardening stuff, uh, giving them some information for nothing. But I just wanted to sort of offer those thoughts on how related it had to be and how you would capture everybody in uh, with not with worrying about the sensitivities of, of the uh, and the cultural differences. And um, that's about it for me. But also, if you had the food thing, you could consider hooking it up with a doorstep delivery package process. So the ingredients you could bulk, you could get 50 lots of what it takes to cook that dish if your response is that big to wanting to cook that dish. And then you could drop those, you could quite efficiently and productively drop those follow-up supports off to people. And you could run that operation at break even. So all it costs them, and you might even be able to source it efficiently with a bulk purchase. So you might be able to give them really great value and uh, maybe just $12 for delivery or something and, uh, and, and a break even price for the foods to go along with the cooking show so they can do it the next night themselves or something. There you go. Great. Cool. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Um, oh. If anybody has anything else to add, if not, we'll wrap this um, yeah. hot seat. Yes, yeah, so I, I have something to add. Uh, for example, to, to build a piggyback a bit on Michael's idea is uh, you could go and negotiate with takeaway restaurants that they could come and give a bit of virtual class <clears throat> so that they would do it free because it's promotion for them. And at the same time, you're giving something to your guests and, and they're non-competitive and there's a sort of an affiliate agreement of sorts uh, building relationships with their community. I think that would have two. One, your guests would think about you. Two, you would have other businesses around you uh, benefiting from this platform. And don't worry, if you help them, they'll help you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, no, I think it's a, I think it's a great idea. I'm curious, um, and you know, I guess, uh, you know, Elena, you would go in whatever direction you want, but you know, how would you guys do it? Like for your businesses, for your industries, what, what do you, how would you, uh, how would you direct it? Katrina's like very experienced with this. She can tell you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't listen because I was laughing and reading the comment. Sorry. Um, <laughs> repeat think, that one. Yeah, sorry. Can you repeat it? Uh, no, I, I, yeah, so I was just curious, how would you, I guess, how would you take this time to try to promote yourselves, not in a selfish way, but in a way that, that offers value to, to your people, right? So like I'm in real estate, right? But how would you guys do it for yourselves? Like I, for example, I have a, you know, a friend of mine who is, um, you know, plays in a band, right? They have a band and usually they go to a local like uh, bar, right? And they'll play in front of, you know, however many people, two, 300 people. And so what he was thinking of doing is setting up like a Facebook live session in front of uh, probably a lot more people, maybe two, three, 500, a thousand people, 2000 people. And then at the end saying, Hey, if you guys, you know, like the show, you know, drop a dollar here in our virtual tip jar. And they may actually make, it's possible that they make, they may make more money <laughs> that way. He's going to try it. They may make more money that way than, at a regular gig inside the bar. So I'm curious to know what ideas you guys have for your own businesses. All of it, combine it, you know, have, a, have maybe 20 minutes, because an hour is long, so you can have like, you know, how to make chocolate fondue or whatever at home in five minutes, boom, and have the chef. And then while the chef cleans up, uh, you can have somebody do a little song, you know, for another 10 minutes and, and et cetera, et cetera. So you can combine it. Uh, Katrina is an expert at this. She loves to entertain and she always has it planned. She perfectly planned. I hope you don't mind me saying it. Uh, she even managed to have a private Circus de Soleil show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll give you the reasoning. Okay, it's a housewarming party, personal, right? But still it was half personal and half, half uh, professional. So what I did was triangulate 
That is, have someone with a big name, which was Cirque du Soleil, which is very well known in Las Vegas, as doing an excellent performance. Then I would have a famous sculpturist who's known a little bit all over the world. Uh, so he is a brand, very branded. Cirque du Soleil is very branded. And I had a sponsorship from an insurance company, also a big brand, much bigger company than me. Teeny weeny weeny, okay? But I put my company name with big brands. Uh, and I helped the sculpture show his things. Uh, the Cirque du Soleil I offered their entertainment to entertain my guests, but still I used their name in the invitation. The Cirque du Soleil, Richard McDonald, da 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 See? So triangulate with other big brands. And the other thing, I, I love podcasting. I'm a podcaster. It's called Excellent Executive Coaching, by the way. Everybody, and, uh, please subscribe. You can put a, uh, you can you can yeah. put the the link on the chat box. It's it's yeah. free and it's great content, so you can uh, model it. So, you. the the marketing there is much more subtle, a little bit like what you wanted to do, Juan. I interview other experts and also in my field, so I help them uh, be promoted through my platform, which is I've been doing this for a while. But at the same time, I learn. I'm offering something of value to my people that listen. And, uh, you know, it's, the market is large. So I help other people and other coaches as well. But the market is large. It's a, you know, there's enough space for everybody. And the other advantage of doing podcasts and that, I see what's on the market all the time. Who's doing what? What's the new ideas? Uh, how is their approach? I can ask all the questions, right? So I get informed. I'm helping them. And I help my listeners. See, triangulate in some ways. I awesome. Try. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's wrap up this round so we give um, somebody else the, the chance to be in the hot seat, great, great, great job, everybody. And one great question. Uh, Yolene, welcome. You're working from home. Would you like to introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, and your wish for this new month and quarter? Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, yes, I'm working from home. So I'm just um, listening in. I won't be able to participate much because I'm multitasking. And I'm on call. <laughs> so I am in Virginia, uh, US. And your wish for the month and the year? Oh, the, my wish for the month and the year is for this thing to go away and get resolved <laughs> ASAP, like now. <laughs> Yes, yes, um, don't we all? Yeah, everybody, Yolene is, is quiet, but watch the quiet ones. <laughs> I say it lovingly. She's a tax exp expert and QuickBooks expert. So if you ever need any help, although we, we did get a tax, ex tax extension, uh, she's your um, expert. Thank you, Yolene. Thank you. And uh, Francine, so good to reconnect. Hi, Francine. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Elena. Um, yeah, I'm Francine, and I know Elena from a long, long time ago. It is nice to see you again. Vice and versa. I, um, I just jumped on just to see what this program was about at, because I have not been following it. This is my introduction to it. So I'm not sure that I'm really prepared to share a whole lot. Um, I'm in the process right now of sort of reinventing my career and uh, it's kind of a hands-on face-to-face one-on-one thing so that's not going to take off for some time yet <laughs> as as we navigate through this problem um, I um, so so I'm trying to at this point just kind of look at alternative ways to sort of um, patch in different different things I can do that are going to be more remote and that I can offer more online with people um, so that we can sort of like Yolene said just um, just put this thing to rest 
and quickly so that we can all carry on with our lives the way they sure. do. Tell us your, uh, you, the industry or niche um, sector you're focusing on right now, Francine, or you would uh, like to spend. Yeah, I, well, I, um, I've been a stock trader for a long time. So this I do for myself online, but it's, it's for myself. I don't do it for, on behalf of clients, but on a, on a sort of more career based basis, I was looking to reintroduce um, my reflexology treatments. And of course that's, you know, that's touch as personal touch. And um, it's not something that one can do online. <laughs> you can't touch each other online. So um, I'm taking this time to um, just really practice and hone in on, on that skill again. This is something that I, would, I put aside some years ago and uh, thought I would reconnect with it. So I'm just kind of... Um, sure. No welcome. Welcome. Um, just, uh, just on the side though, um, stay, stay open and stay creative. Hopefully what we share today will spark some ideas. You know, I can tell you that people are stressed and they need stress relievers. They do. So the reflexology is a quick and fast um, and also, yeah, very um, effective stress reliever. Maybe there is a way you'll have to have video and kind of tell them, you know, and do it with you, alongside with you, you know, touch this point or touch that point with your mm -hmm. hand or yeah. something where you can still help them, you know, remotely because right now they need your help. You know, they totally do. So, so right. just some food for thought. Just, just that, Elena, is just, yeah, has sparked um, ways that I could help with self-reflexology. It is, it is an art that I've used for myself for a long time. So, you know, even on this platform, Zoom is fantastic. I do, I do daily dance exercise stuff on this platform. So it's, uh, it's we'll be, we'll be your guinea pigs if you <laughs> let us, um, because uh, my goodness, you know, of course, when this is over, we rather have you do it and an expert do it. But in the meantime, it's better than nothing, right? Exactly. It's nicer to be touched than to do all the work yourself. So again, yeah. but in the meantime, it's, it's, it just would be helpful too, so. Perfect, there you go. If you can see the chat, um, everybody is, um, is um, giving you more ideas. So thank you so much, Francine, and oh, welcome. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Elena. You bet. And what about, uh, let's see. Um, so anybody else um, in the hot seat with um, a hot burning question for this amazing group? And Katrina. especially on anyone else that has experience. Uh, what is the rules now for a renter? How can they get out paying the rent? But obviously I have some real estate and I'm renting. I would like to know also the other side, what can the homeowners that are renting uh, do to protect themselves? Very good. I know we have some several real estate experts here, maybe not from Nevada, but we got Florida, we got New York City, we got, um, and, and uh, Veronica, welcome from London as well. She may, she may know. Um, Katrina is like me, European American. So, um, so I'm, I'm happy to, um, to, uh, to give you 60 seconds of insight <laughs> if you want. Thank you. So what are you mostly concerned about right now? Uh, like from the perspective of a tenant or from the land, the landlord side? Well, obviously landlord, but I want it to be of interest to everyone here. So I'd like the both sides. Sure. So, you know, what I'm telling my clients, I guess, generally speaking, whether you're a tenant or a landlord, my message to them is basically uh, number one to be human, right? So if you're a landlord, right now it's not the time to be a jerk. I don't think we're going to, you know, I don't think anyone in this group is, is going to have that issue of being a jerk. Right. But trust me, I have some clients that are, and I'm dealing with one right now where we have a, um, we have a tenant that we started an eviction on like six weeks ago. And so he was supposed to vacate yesterday on the 31st. Needless to say, the police is not going to evict them because they're holding on evictions right now. So my client, the landlord is, pissed. She is very upset, right? And she wanted to just, just 
throw the book at him and call the judge and everything. And I had to tell her, listen, uh, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Just go take a cold shower. <laughs> it's, there's, there's not much to do, right? She wanted me, for instance, to, you know, to send a very strongly worded email to the, uh, to the tenant. She was going to also possibly write a very strong, strongly worded um, letter to the tenant. And I told her, I, I said, don't do it. You know, right now you don't want to be the landlord with that, you know, once this thing is over that you come out on the local news as the landlord who evicted a tenant in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, <laughs> right? You're not going to win, right? You may be right, but you're not going to win. Uh, to the so as far as landlords, um, um, my suggestion to you as a landlord is to tell your tenants to be human, um, uh, but really to clarify what their situation is. Uh, so believe it or not, a lot of tenants are still have their jobs. Right, so people in the hospitality industry, like you guys in Vegas, right? If they work at the hotels, the resorts, they may be out of the, out of work. But a lot of people work at the hospitals, they work at the utilities, at the electricity company, internet, right? Water and sewer, um, like some of these essential services, and so they still have a job. If somebody says that they lost their job, what I would tell you as a landlord is to say, "Listen, I understand. I'm sorry that that happened. Do me a favor, if you could please uh, send me an email." with the email that you received laying you off or a letter, right? Like a copy of the letter that you received, um, you know, from your boss laying you off because um, if you're unable to pay, uh, I may be able to use that to my, with my mortgage company to justify me not being able to pay the mortgage company, right? So that's something that I would suggest to, to a tenant. Also, I would say, if you could please send me your most recent bank statement, um, because I may need that. As you can understand, Mr. Tenant, I still owe the taxes, the mortgage, the insurance, the association payment if necessary. Like I, all these bills are still, I still have to pay them even if you don't pay rent. So if you could please send that to me. And so the tenants that are honest, they will send you that. The reason I bring that up is that this literally happened to me in the last six months where I contacted a tenant um, this was pre-coronavirus, and uh, and I said, hey, there were tenants of of mine, and I said, hey, by any chance, I have this property that's going to become available. Have you thought of buying? And these are tenants that, by the way, who had been late on their rent previously. And I said, have you thought of buying? And they said, oh yes, definitely, I, I would love to buy. Well, you know, I can put you in touch with the mortgage broker. Long story short, is that they were sitting on like one of them was sitting on twenty six thousand dollars. And he actually was able to buy. So a lot of tenants are going to try to take advantage because they feel like they can. And so if you, if you ask them for that proof of getting laid off and their most recent bank statement, it will, um, you know, you'll kind of get rid of that situation. But additionally, you also want to give them some solutions. So Mr. Tenant, I know that things are tough right now. Um, I would highly recommend that you apply for unemployment as soon as possible. If your rent is $1,500 a month, what do you think is the most that you can pay so that I can also convey that information to my mortgage company, right? Don't forget that, you know, the government just passed the stimulus. You're going to get paid in the United States at least um, $1,200 per individual, $500 per child. As a, the average family, husband and wife, two kids, you may get $3,400, right? So it's very, most tenants should be able to pay something, uh, if not all of it. Yeah. What happened if your tenant is wealthy? Then they are, they have to pay. So the issue with, with, with people is that, um, is that they need to prove a financial hardship, mm. right? So when banks are doing, for instance, low modifications, um, they'll work with somebody as long as that person can prove a financial hardship. Mm. So if that person says, listen, you know, my, I just lost my job. Here's what the proof, here's the proof of my unemployment. Here's the proof that my wife has been in the hospital with cancer for the last six months. Here are all the bills. They'll work with that. But if they say, you know, listen, I can't pay you and I'm sitting on a million dollars in the bank, like eventually this whole situation is going to get worked out. And if three or six months from now, they're going to get evicted. They could get sued for, you know, collections and like it, it can get ugly for them. So if your tenant is wealthy, uh, they should understand that, that they're not just going to get away with it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Very good. Thank you. Okay, anybody has um, something to add? To, uh, yes. Yes, Veronica, welcome. And, and while you're ready, you introduce yourself as well. Yes, hi. Um, well, in London, it is, uh, uh, the, the, the government is giving a free month's holiday to, to tenants. So, you know, the, the landlord cannot ev evict them, actually, even they can't pay the rent, yeah. But for the landlord, they give a free month's holiday for the mortgage. Uh, and then for the uh, employee, you know, the government will pay, will guarantee 80% of their, of the salary, you know, you, so that they can, uh, even the, if they, they even, even if they stay home or no work. So, so there are different packages um to to help out you know so yeah th this, this is here but uh the, you, you were just talking about usa just now right yes yes i was talking about the the united states yes, yes. Yeah, so those holidays, those uh, mortgage freezes and rent freezes, I think, I think slowly but surely are happening everywhere in the world uh, for utilities as well and for, for taxes as well, these freezes, extensions. So um, I'm not 100% current, but um, maybe it, if it can buy you time and you can take advantage of these concessions, why not, right? They can help everybody. So to just uh, just to be clear, like some of these concessions, like you said, some of these mortgage freezes and stuff, uh, it doesn't necessarily it doesn't make the payments disappear. It just means that you may not if if you can prove a financial hardship, that they're not gonna like it's okay if you can prove your financial hardship that you don't pay for thirty, sixty, ninety days. But after ninety days, all of it is going to be due. Now, what most people, what most banks are going to do is that 90 days from now, you know, people are not going to have $10,000 to pay all at once, right? Whatever the mortgage amount is. What they're going to do is just tack, is modify the loan, add it to the back of the loan, you know, increase the monthly payments by $100, $200 every month until that past due amount is paid. But it doesn't mean that it's going to disappear. Sure. So for, so for people that have mortgages, that will happen. But for tenants, um, if they don't pay the rent, they, they may not get kicked out during these few months, but eventually they still, they're still gonna owe it. And if they can't pay it, at that time, evictions, like Michael was pointing out in the chat, will start happening in, you know, in, in bulk. Yeah, it's not forgiven. Although not forgiven. Things, things are changing hour by hour, so who knows, there, there, um, there may be some more changes, but for now, yes, that sounds correct. Yes, but some tenants are taking advantage, you know, so they just stop paying, yeah, and, and give the key back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not okay. Um, that's not okay. We all have to do our part and not take advantage. So, yeah, I think, Katrina, a good heart-to-heart, uh, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, maybe over some wine, <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> could help uh, or virtual wine virtual, virtual wine. wine i think yes, virtual yes. Wine. <laughs> thank you elena great anybody else um any other feedback for katrina on um, landlord tenant relations right now during this period Hi, uh, yeah. yeah jillian yeah you gotta speak yes <laughs> well actually i all this morning I've had that come up tenants because we just opened up um, a new building, 86 units. I, the move-in started in March and we're over half full and now I'm getting phone calls. Well, do I still have to pay my rent? So my thing to most people is, I don't know, we're humans and we kind of like, oh, I can get this for free. Um, it's, uh, it's like Juan said, you know, eventually you're going to have to pay. So if you can pay, pay. Don't just take advantage of the system. Just go ahead and pay. And um, so those who are in that spot, they can go ahead and pay. And if you can't, contact your landlord and let and um, do that. Have some documentation or, hey, I lost my job or whatever. 
And um, mine actually has said, I'm um, told some tenants, well, you know, pay what you can, you know, and we'll just deal with that down the road because we do have to stay human to people. But in the meantime, because I think a lot of the tenants, they're not thinking that the landlord has expenses too, you know. Yeah, and if the landlord can't keep up with their expenses, maybe in 90 days or six months, they might not even have a home. I mean, see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check out those stimulus packages because there are a lot out there. And one, I don't know if you know, but here in New York, they're offering it to the real estate agents. You have to apply in your state and um, you actually, uh, if you're a real estate agent, they have a, a stimulus package for you. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, also sharing in the chat box. Fabulous, Katrina. Um, does anybody else have any last comment for Katrina? If not, we'll move on with another great hot question. Very and feel free to unmute yourself. Okay. So we gave Katrina enough food for thought, hopefully. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank good. you to everybody. <laughs> okay. So here. And who has another burning question? Um, <clears throat> again, you are trusted uh, colleagues and entrepreneurs and... Um, like-minded and like-hearted individuals and friends. So who, who, has, who would like to be in the hot seat and get, propose a question and get some answers? Anybody? Gillian, Francine? Uh, I've got some things I can yeah. uh, suggest, sure. if you like. Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, thank you, guys. Um, what I'm really interested in um, doing is, like every business, reinventing as the situation requires and looking at the change in reality for my customers. So what's happening is the customers are going to run out of money, like tenants, to owners, all these sorts of related income streams being uh, detrimented and, and their day jobs. And they've got more time on their hands. And... Um, uh, coincidentally, I've been spending about four years now we, on the back burner trying to get this DIY training thing up and going. For what are they? DIY? What is it? DIY. Do it yourself. Um, training for gardening. I've been. It's it's my big sort of online thing. I've been hoping to do with the businesses to go into online um, how to look after your own garden, uh, but customized. People can sort of say, well, "We've got this problem. We've got this problem," and here's some photographs and. I can say, well, I know what that is and the way to treat that is this. And it's, it's with gardening, it's basically for everyone, just a little bit. You probably already know it, most of you, if you love your gardens, but every single thing in it has its own little book of instructions. If it's a camellia tree, if it's a type of weed, it, you just got to learn about it. So it's just like any change in life. We've got to become aware of it. Look at the potential of the problem. Oh my God, that's going to get so big. It's going to bend the footpath. Um, be aware of it work out what to do with it. Anyhow, the issue I've got now is that DIY has gone through the roof and uh, every, to the tune where our nurseries have sold out of seedlings uh, and our wholesalers can't get them and all of that. So it's very interesting. We've had panic buying in the, in the fix up your garden area. Uh, it's probably still only 5% of the population, but that's a lot of people when everyone does it at once. So what I have to do is um, accept that there's, there are, all of these DIY people suffer from a problem of, and it's a cycle too, too much enthusiasm. They go ahead and do everything without due diligence and without seeing, giving it sacredness, really. They sort of bash it in, really. And then it doesn't work properly and things die and then they get jaded and then they say they kill things and can't garden. It's because they didn't try with knowledge. So I'll get some more work when the, the, the problems start showing from what people are doing. But I'm interested in hearing from people now about your own experience in your own garden and, where, and what sort of ideas you've got for somebody that might reach you with gardening support for you to do yourself. So what kind of a DIY packaging uh, might you be more warm to? That's my question. Good. I, I have um, something to add. 
<clears throat> and then you can hear from everybody else. So people get overwhelmed. And so, or like you said, you know, they want to do everything at once. That's all a recipe for disaster. So just like you're used to, you know, that we break, break things down one thing at once, maybe you can have, um, you can have this series of in one month, so right now is the month of April, you can focus on uh, flowers, okay? Next month, you can focus on um, uh, fruit. Uh, the following month, you can focus on vegetables. The following month, focus on whatever, you know? Uh, so, but just keep it so they have the whole month to just hone in into that. If they're not interested in flowers, they can wait for the month of the fruit if that's what they're interested. So you can really take them step by step, hand holding, because I mean, it's frightening doing it yourself. For me, it's frightening, but my, my lens gardener, farmer is lacking off right now. He's old, he's been sick. So I also have to be human, but you know, the grass is overgrown and, and I still would like the, the, I would like, now is the time to plant. You know, I would like my fruits and vegetables. I'm vegan, I eat a lot of those. <laughs> That's all I eat. And, and uh, the, the old ones are dying. So, so, and like you said, there is panic buying here too. So at the nursery, there, there is hardly anything left. So maybe you can help them set up with your affiliate system, like a delivery from, from wherever. It doesn't have to be nursery. It can be Amazon of um, certain seeds because they have no clue. They're t it's like a new language. They don't even know where to start to go research or find the seeds, find the soil, find the supplements, and uh, what to do with the irrigation, et cetera. Yeah, mm. I don't know if that can help you. Yeah, that's, it's, um, it's very true and very real. And um, I like the idea of the monthly specials. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm, I've made it into a monthly special while you were talking that I would I'd put a, a special theme like a mastermind uh, on an area of gardening that's seasonally relevant ongoing topics that maybe just keep going so we talked about weed control last month and there might be a couple of little weed control things every month after that that people that want the continuity and perhaps a customized session where people online again where people can really like this format uh everyone can benefit from what people choose to flag as what their their issue is in their garden right now um but yeah, that's, um, I'm, I'm thinking online packaging, it's difficult. You can't mow someone's lawn for them. One, it, it, I was just about to, to message you and say, uh, and I realized I wasn't, wasn't muted yet, that I can solve most of your problems with seeds and stuff like that with information and support online. U ultimately though, I can't come and mow your lawn. And um, that's the challenge uh, if people need that. But it's gonna come down to me providing services like higher equipment delivery and DIY lawn mowing information, how to start the thing, how to keep safe, don't mow in the dark, make sure you've got good shoes on. They're the main two, you know, and how to start it. And if it's a higher tool, it'll start easy. If it's coming out of the person's shed, that's when they've got starting problems because it gets moisture over winter and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, no, thanks very much, Lena. That, was, that gave me heaps of ideas. Anyone else like to add some ideas? Katrina? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, you go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, please, Veronica. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I was saying that the monthly topic one is a very good idea, but maybe, maybe for some people, you know, um, they might not have the discipline to do it themselves in one month. So if you are able to sort of give them an email or a newsletter once a week, you know, which, which uh, which will remind them um, of what what is going on or, or what what they can do during that week, and and yes. maybe yeah, and maybe also explain while you are doing it, you know, explain what what's the progress you, you are having at that time. Yes, I, I like that, Veronica. Thank you. Uh, that's great because well, I'll, um, I think that every single topic session will become its own ongoing forum and it will become like a little club on that. It might be weed control. And then all the people that are attracted to weed control. And I might have somebody that's on my, uh, interested in the rose pruning approach. Uh, and then they might want to 
um, sort of pop in a bit on the, the weed control group sort of thing. Uh, and so it might, I, I guess it's going to come down as well to how I can charge for things. Uh, I'm not sure how much I really want to do free at all. I have always moved away from spam approach to getting people. I just want the quality people that want to pay and want to get what I've got. And so I guess establishing credibility and the word of mouth networks would get me quite a few people for starters, I think. And um, so it's, it's about packaging now, uh, partly. So if anybody else has got any ideas or including yourself, Veronica, on how much it might be worth uh, to, to keep in isolation, looking after one's garden with a bit of customized knowledge online, how it might, how the pay format might work. I have an idea. Uh, this is Katrina. Katrina? Yes, I can uh, see you. Cool. Yeah, for example, uh, it's also to build on what Veronica said, is um, my sacred garden, because you said sacred, so use your words. And then what it takes to develop your garden uh, like a business, so that you orient it to business people if you want them to come in and make the parallel between gardening and business. If they're more comfortable in business than gardening, then they can relate the two. Or they can say, uh, develop a sacred gar garden. How uh, do you prepare your dinner? Uh, how do you prepare your, I mean, how do you take care of your garden, like preparing a meal? So something everybody does. And then you make the parallel. So they're comfortable cooking meals because they do it every day. And it makes the, the parallel between the garden. They'll remember a lot more. And then you can have fun doing it. I, 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 I totally know. love it. I oh, totally love it. The other thing is, yes. everything you suggest in that blog, everything, the seeds, the tools, you put an affiliate link at the end and said, yes. I suggest this and this and this to do uh, your garden. And then you make sure that you have those affiliate links. So you're making money as well. You're having fun writing it. At least I would. <laughs> and uh, you're, you're teaching, you're helping people that are maybe less uh, comfortable doing it. That's, That's really cool. Thank you so much, Katrina. I, I started getting it because of your energy input there about the lateralness of it. It actually suits my persona quite a lot to say to someone, treat it like a business. <laughs> it's your garden, but it need, it has needs, maintenance needs, material costs, and here's what you get out of it. And your return on investment is going to be this, this, this. It's what you have to put into it. If you only want to put small, medium or large into it, these are the sorts of returns you can get from it. It's, it's getting people to, to really understand that it is a living system and it is like, like a business or a family or a friendship or anything you invest in. And yeah, that's great. And you can also link it to the coronavirus, how to make sure that your garden is not conducive to the coronavirus, that title, boom. And then you can say, you got to put your shoes, take your shoes off before you come in. Or, or do, and then you go into safety issues. I don't know, it's just ideas. I, I've um, been making a few jokes about my plants getting quarantined and no one's allowed over there because it's a clean sort of area. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's just amazing how much time people have got on their hands in Melbourne at home. And I've just got to work out um, what I can do for them and how quickly I can actually do it as well. And have fun. Yeah. Doing it. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you. Anyone else? Juan's got an idea, I think. Hey, Michael. Uh, so I'm curious, do you have anything going on right now? Like, do you have a, like a, a, a YouTube channel or a website uh, or anything currently? No, I've, I've got a million semi-drafted things ready to roll out. Uh, a lot of content in files and folders. I've got a lot of photo footage. I've thought about going through Facebook and setting up a, 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 with my coaching with Elena, where I'm looking into basically moving ahead to the Facebook business promotion page. Um, that I think I was possibly almost going to do some of it under my own name, uh, Michael Lloyd, as opposed to my business name, Garden Help, uh, when it came to the training and stuff, because it's the, in terms of branding, which Katrina's often said a lot of stuff about branding, I'm looking at, at being the expert that people would listen to. And it's hard to have that expert being a business that people are coming across by business name. So I think to personalize it. So have you guys, um, uh, so the reason I, I, you know, I ask is, uh, and again, I'm just, just an idea, but have you guys seen on, 
I think it's the Animal Channel. I don't know if it's Animal Planet, but there's a, maybe I'm wrong, or Bravo, one of these uh, cable channels. But there's a cat, there's a guy who trains cats. The guy, have you guys seen the cat guy? He has a beard, he's kind of punk, he's got earrings, and he's also a musician. Has anyone seen him? No, I want to see it. No. Though. No. So this guy, so this guy I, I can't remember. If, if you Google him, I'm sure you'll find him. But um, it, Michael is actually kind of reminding me of him because th what this guy does is that he, he is like a cat psychologist, right? So people call him like from all over the world to go help them with their like problem cat, right? Oh. And the cats are just out of control. I mean, they're like ferocious. And this guy comes in and he is literally like a cat therapist and he comes in and he's, he, he, again, he's, he's got the punk look, he's got big, you know, earrings and the whole thing. <laughs> and he, he soothes them into submission, let's say, and the whole demeanor of the cat totally changes. And so I mean, Ooh. I can imagine Michael, like, you know, me calling you, Hey, you know, like, I don't know on the cell phone, Hey Michael, you know, I have this problem garden over here. You know, I got all these weeds, take a look at it. Let me show you. And I think you could do something like that today, like during quarantine. Right. And then you tell me, Oh yeah, no, that's a super easy problem to solve Juan. All you have to do is this, let me, you know, can you get a, you know, a closer look and then maybe at the end play a song or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You got the guitar <laughs> ready right there. Yeah. Awesome. That's great ideas. It's just, I don't know how long we've got. Is there anybody that's, that's got a burning sort of relevant take to offer on their own journey trying to get DIY help? Anyone trying to do the garden at home now and really struggling with Google or finding the information on what you want or looking for it? What venue are you going to, what venue do you think you're going to use? Venue? Sorry. Yeah. Platform. To, uh, platform, yes. Uh, Facebook Live. Uh, what's your I, inclination? I, I'm, I really don't know. Uh, I'm starting to get comfortable with Facebook, um, and, but I do enjoy Zoom. Uh, I, perhaps I need to just do it with Zoom. Mm -hmm. You know who you should ask is Elena. She's the, the, I mean, she has so much knowledge of social media. She's an expert. Elena, well, Michael, you know my social media helpers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Cool, cool. Well, um, it, it, uh, I will follow this up through coaching, and, and it's a big area because I've said the admin, the office, putting together marketing materials online. It's all office activity, and I've got a lot of it to do, and I have to get myself out of the garden and into the office more. Yeah, yeah, and you may need some technical help, you know, because today we live in a such heavily influenced technologically, technologically um, heavily influenced life that, you know, I, although I understand it, I just don't have time to do all of it myself. So yeah, I do have interns. I have, I have uh, virtual assistants and um, um, people helping me as well. Yeah, because it's hard to do it all on your own, but you can find a way, Michael. I know you can. Yeah, so, Marina is an incredible marketer. You need to get advice from her. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Let's move on to someone else's. Yes. Uh, yes. So, because um, I have to uh, wrap it up in 15 minutes, I'm, I do have another session. I just want I want to hear from each one of you, like one thing that you got out for yourself or that sparked sparked your um, creativity. That's why we have this this session, so you can see new things you can discover new ideas new points of view so one thing that you thought of as a result of today's session mastermind session that you are going to apply apply for your own life and business and or business like next like today or tomorrow in the next 48 hours so i'll um i'll start um I'll start. I'm definitely going to check out that cat whisperer because I have a tiger. One, you should have told me earlier, you know, I have a tiger that's untamable, <laughs> a cat, but it's basically a lion. And it may be too late, but, but definitely that's something I'm, I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's my takeaway uh, among many others. But uh, one, go for it. 
What about for you? Uh, for me, I think following up on Michael's idea, um, I think I'm going to get uh, a lot more serious about putting up a lot of, uh, of videos on YouTube with some of these things that I just end up talking to my clients about all the time and then eventually figure out how to monetize it. But, um, but yes, I think I'm going to do a lot more videos on YouTube. Okay, we'll hold you to it. You got all of us. Uh, let's make it happen and send us in the Elite Mastermind um, Facebook group. I'll put, the ch I'll put it in the chat here. Please uh, send us the link, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. And Katrina? Um, I'm going to write, I think I'm going to write a blog that I'll convert into a podcast and that I'll converse into a YouTube. Wonderful. Great. Thank you, Sobia. Have fun with that. You know you'll do great. Veronica. Um, I think this uh, hot seat idea is, is very nice where, where you pull everybody's idea um, to give you the inspiration. Um, I will see where I can put this idea into practice, really. Which part of the business that I can put this in? Okay, but give us one idea, one idea that you're going to want to apply next. Um, one idea I apply next. Um, uh, I, I'll, I'll gather a, a Zoom meeting with, with one group and, and practice this. Ah, very good, very good. Fantastic, go for it and enjoy it. And Zoom is free, um, you know, the basic version. Oh, okay. Thank you, Veronica. And Francine. Unmute yourself. Francine. Oh, there we go, there we go. Um, like I said before, I came with, with no expectations and um, this kind of opened up a whole lot of um, ideas for me. I couldn't see how I would deliver the reflexology until this situation was over, but you're, you know, um, just a few, just a few ideas thrown around is, is got my brain going in, in how I can sort of help introduce um, the self-help of reflexology. And um, I'm not, I'm not very, techie but i am familiar with youtube and i i can just go ahead and start doing some youtube videos and and just help people out and you know even have them teach their partner how to administer the this you know the the treatment for them you know so that they can do it for each other you know so that kind of stuff yeah it's, it's sparked a little bit of creativity so i've got to outline some of the different you know stress reduction um systems that one would use either on their feet, their hands, whatever, um, and together in a step by step. Wonderful. And make sure you share your uh, YouTube uh, information in uh, the private Facebook group for Masterminders, okay? I Will do. It. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. We are looking forward to learn from you. Thank you, Francine. And Gillian. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of, um, uh, having a cooking class. So I'm going to present that to my team because we're a big team here in Brooklyn and uh, know a lot of restaurant, you know, owners. And maybe we can just do something to promote the Belisario team. <laughs> what is it called? Belisario? <laughs> it's the Belisario Cruise Reigns team. Wow. Sounds very <laughs> fancy. I like yeah, it. It's, a, it's about 20 of us on this team. We're a big team. So we actually having a meeting tomorrow and uh, we always, we did have a martini get together on zoom. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And, but to do something more like that so we can get out to our clients. I think that would, that's a great idea. Just um, so Brooklyn just keeps us in mind every time they look into buy or sell or anything. Great. Have fun with that. You'll do great. Yeah. You'll do great. Well done, Jillian. And Kim. Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe either 
just putting a Facebook post out there or a new ebook, one of the two, on how to stay sane during this crisis. Um, things like, you know, a quick salad recipe that's really healthy that'll help boost your energy and, and clear your mind. Um, and maybe a simple meditation that you could do. Um, Something like that. Uh, lots of ideas are floating, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Go for it, Kim. Kim is one of the healthiest people on the planet I know. <laughs> she looks half her age. She also has a tiger. And uh, <laughs> so she has a lot to share. So go for it, okay, Kim? <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. Thanks to everyone, too, for your great ideas. You're welcome, and thank you. And Miss Mary. Oh. Oops. <laughs> uh, yes, the I really like the idea of creating some more YouTube videos um, in reference to my internet marketing business. Uh, I'd like to use that information to uh, encourage people to consider another source of income, maybe those that have lost their jobs and looking for something they can do while they're quarantined at home and how that all can work to their benefit. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. You'll make it happen. Okay. Will do. Nice. Great. And uh, let's see. I um, think um, who has not gone? Uh, Michael. Michael, unmute yourself. Uh, I've got heaps of ideas. You guys have got loads of great energy and the whole online thing is just really crystallizing for me. Um, Give us think, one action, the first action you're going to do first. Um, oh, most of my actions are still thinking and processing. What, it, it's because I've got to get myself around to the commitment. And that's what I, that's my, well, I see the actions getting to the point of that commitment and then I've got no problems doing it. Um, I need to um, uh, pursue the, the idea of a balanced lot of content that, I'm not worried about being paid for at the outset. I'm just going to structure up a balanced lot of content, uh, seasonal and ongoing gardening areas, put all my photos together, uh, gradually plan to, to collate so I've got the resources on hand. Great. Cool. Okay. Cool. Let's make it happen. Well done, you guys. And remember, the more you share and help others with the more is going to come back to you a million fold and much more the uh, universe is very is very kind like that and very proportional and very fair so just like the boomerang like in down under so <laughs> the boomerang <laughs> effect so uh well done i thank you all um this was um i shared um i was sharing the let's see i was sharing the the private Facebook group. I don't know. Uh, um, anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll, re we'll send you a replay and we'll remind you on there about the, uh, the link to access if you're not there yet. So definitely share how you're doing with applying and implementing these ideas. There you go. And uh, we'll support you through it. Um, cool. any, any request for um, topic for, for the next mastermind in May? And if you do, you can also, if you know now, or you can uh, email us or put in the private Facebook group as well. Okay. okay. So you let us know. And, uh, oh yeah, Katrina, go for it. Close the show. Yeah. I'll let you close the show. Uh, I just want to say, I would like to interview Elena, Dr. Elena for my podcast. And I might be contacting you to give a testimonial. Is that okay? About what you get out of the uh, the the uh, mastermind. It's okay with me. And um, so, she would like to contact the other participants. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I don't want to speak for them. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure they'll be up for it. <laughs> me three, so that uh, she gets the testimonials, and at the same time, she tells what she's doing and. Uh, okay, if that's you're okay with that, that's another way of promoting her, right? <laughs> promote her and what she's doing for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Offer this to us, so it's a way to pay back. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey. You're so kind. Let's all share our amazing gifts. We all have a lot of gifts to share with the world. The world needs us right now, really needs our cooperation, our heart, our love, our leadership. So let's all contribute. And um, I love you guys. And let's make it a great beginning of the new quarter and Thank month. And uh, remember to... Uh, <clears throat> To, to, to do well, to complete the actions you said you're going to do and uh, let us know how you did, okay? And um, here's a little bit of music to wrap it up and ciao, belli. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Stay well. You do. Thanks, everyone. All the best. Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Bye. 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 Let's see.